Hey, Tim. Hola, que tal, Melissa? How it's are a, you? I'm great. It's a pleasure to chat with you. I'm a big fan of your work. Tell us about this new series that you're working on titled Keep Breathing. It looks very exciting. Thank you. Well, yeah, it's a show that I'm very proud of. It's a survival drama um, about a woman that gets you know, stranded in the middle of the Canadian wilderness by herself and has to survive, not only like survive physically, but also with her thoughts and her demons and all of the insecurities and everything that comes up when you're by yourself. Now, I have to imagine with uh, you being part of this plane that goes down, there was a lot of physicality that was in this role for you. What was that like for you to, to experience throughout this whole journey? It was very exciting. It was a very physical role. And I think that was primarily what drew me to it. I wanted to do something physical and something that felt like action. I had to do scuba certification. I had to do underwater and cold water training for this. I had to do some wire work too. I was hanging and like falling and doing all sorts of, of stunts. So it was, it was exciting for me. It was, you know, the first time that I did a lot of these things and it made me want to do more action stuff. Were any of those particular styles of training something that you're really, you know, like maybe the scuba was something that I really want to continue with? Definitely not. Definitely oh. not. I, I learned during this that I am not a scuba person, even though I always was curious about it and I just never got around to it. And then for this, I was like, oh, perfect excuse because I've always wanted to learn to scuba dive. And then I had to for this. And it was terrifying. It was terrifying. I think one of my biggest fears is drowning. And I just got very claustrophobic down there. And even though when you're down there, it's beautiful if you're just like, you know, swimming around and watching fish. But there's, I just realized that I don't want to die underwater. (laughs) And a lot of the times I felt like I was going to die. So definitely not a scuba, not a scuba diving person. I will not continue to do that unless another role requires me to, and then I will. What's interesting about this role for you is that a lot of the scenes you're carrying by yourself. What kind of challenge was that for you to not have someone else to play off of? It's challenging in in different ways, but it's also liberating. We had time to shoot this. It was six episodes and we had like a little over three months to shoot it. So we weren't in a hurry. And sometimes they would just shoot me, you know, they, they would just let me try to build a shelter by myself, try to build a fire by myself. And they'd be like, okay, we're going to shoot you go try and do it. And so a lot of the things that you're seeing live do is me actually trying to figure it out. Like, what would I do if I were stranded by myself? And how would I survive? And, and so a lot of the frustration that you see, and every time that I yell fuck and stuff like that is very real. (laughs) Well, you really (laughs) connected with the role in many ways, I'd imagine in that regard. Yeah, yeah. Well, I want to thank you for uh, this time. Again, people should tune this in on Netflix. It's entitled Keep Breathing. And I'm looking forward to your next project as well as this one. Thank you so much, Tim. Nice talking to you.